Fed cuts, stocks soar, while investors banking on the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates at its next meeting. It's just about two weeks away. So if rates are trimmed, will that lead to another wave in this rally? Let's get the read from our money gurus today, Rebecca Walser and Melissa Armo. Ladies, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Rebecca, haven't stocks pretty much topped out now and because they've already cooked in that, that quarter point rate cut in, uh, later on this month, right? Absolutely. I mean, the market is definitely at basically 100%, David, at, you know, either it's going to be 25 or 50 basis points, one or the other, it adds up to 100%. So people are counting on it. It's baked in. But, you know, if you look at the history of the Fed rate cuts, they cut at the top of the market, That meaning that is the top out, and then we come down. So the fact that they're cutting is indicative that they're seeing data that is problematic, certainly on the labor side. And so it's not actually a good indicator that we're going to have a bull market coming forward. No way. Though, uh, last week we saw a, a, a huge rise, I think a big rise, in the GDP. We got that 3% number cut coming in. It was a second read of the second quarter number. Uh, but a lot of people are skeptical, particularly after that 813,000 jobs that just disappeared a couple of weeks ago. I mean, that, that, that makes people wary of the numbers. Do you believe in those strong GDP numbers or are you skeptical? I think it's really hard to believe in any of the data that we're seeing right now. <laughs> and the biggest problem is that the Fed is making decisions whether to cut, hold rates steady, or even raise rates based yeah. on the numbers. I've never seen consecutive revisions as great as we have seen in this administration. It's almost right. shocking, actually. Yes. And the fact that the Fed is relying on those numbers to make to make decisions is really problematic. So probably what's going to happen is that the Fed's going to be late. In other words, maybe they don't cut in September, or maybe mm -hmm. they cut only a quarter. Remember at the beginning of the year, we thought we were going to get five rate cuts this year. The market kept plugging higher, going right. higher, making right. new highs. And here we are, it's September, and they still have not even cut a quarter point yet this year. And Rebecca, we've got an election come up. We can't <laughs> ignore it. And, yeah. and Kamala Harris has, has already came out, come out with her price gouging plan. She says it's, that doesn't necessarily mean there'd be price controls, but that's what it, a lot of people would say it leads to. Even, even people on her side, even Democrats have come out and said this is a terrible plan, price controls don't work. So so isn't the market going to get skittish about some of that? Well, the price controls are not, um, you know, a, re a republic. <laughs> they're, they're uh, you know, socialistic, Marxist, communistic. You know, we've had that before, Richard Nixon in the 70s. It doesn't work. Yeah. It does not work. You have to let the market do what the market does. And by the way, David, there's already a ton of market manipulation with stimulus, mo monetary, and fiscal policy. That is enough. You start now having the executive branch come in and start setting price controls when, you know, when you're looking at what she's talking about, too, the cost of food, the margins on restaurants, groceries, these mm -hmm. are minimalistic, can barely grocer. stay in business. We've got a grocer coming on in the next segment. <laughs> he's going to talk specifically about that. But what about taxes? Because we know that the tax cut, the, t the Trump tax cuts are going to expire. Uh, in 2025. So the next president will have to come up with a new regimen, or if it's Trump, he might just continue with, with what we've had. But if it's Kamala Harris, we know that corporate tax rates are going to go up about 30%. Uh, we also know she may institute these wealth taxes. What effect would all these uh, these uh, hikes in taxes do to our economy? I definitely think it's, I have a more bullish outlook on the market going into 2025 if Trump wins the election in 2024. If you remember back 2016, the market was down the futures were down huge everyone thought Hillary was gonna win and then it completely did a hundred percent reversal into the next day if you bought the market on 2016 the election day the day after I did you, you made <laughs> up 100%, I did. Actually, I saw in, Paul Krugman column in the New York Times saying the markets were gonna crash yeah. he's a reverse <laughs> barometer yeah. and, and and I was yeah. right there is one exception to, to what you two are saying and and that is the fact that that markets tend to like divided governments mm. right I mean in in the past it has. So, I mean, say there is a, a Trump victory and the Republicans take over the House of Congress and the Senate, it, might markets react negatively to that? 
I mean, I think the markets could react negatively to a lot. And I, I'm on, on the opposite section of Melissa here because I just am not, uh, I'm very bearish because of the fact that we have a, a trillion dollars of new deficit spending every 100 days. We are in a debt cycle now at this point, David, that we can't sustain with interest being our, one of our top four expenses, you know, more expensive than the military now. This is not sustainable. This is a huge problem. And Americans just can't go on and act like everything's going to be normal. No, it's not normal, and we have to deal with it. So fi bottom line is, you say if Trump wins, uh, Trump wins. He's going to have to rebuild the, the economy here, and that's so going to take some work. Then, even you're, then, you're absolutely, not a bull. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right, ladies, thank you very much. <laughs> Good to see you both. Well, Kamala Harris doubling down on her calls for cracking down on alleged price gouging. Grocery store CEO Stu Leonard Jr. isn't buying into it. He's coming up. And as Donald Trump pushes his no tax on tips plan to restaurant workers, are restaurant owners on board?